Now, for hundreds of years, the buried city of Pompeii has given archaeologists astonishing snapshots of life in ancient Rome. For centuries, the victims of Pompeii have been frozen in ash, their final screams trapped beneath stone. But now, artificial intelligence has looked inside those bodies for the first time, and what it found has stunned scientists around the world. These scans didn't just show bones, they uncovered details so unexpected that experts questioned reality itself. So, what exactly did AI find inside the Pompeii victims, and how does it shape our understanding of this past civilization? To understand this, let's go back in time. The day. Pompeii fell. It all happened on August 24, 79 AD, when Mount Vesuvius exploded with so much force that it shook the entire Earth. Within hours, the Roman city of Pompeii disappeared under clouds of ash, fire, and molten rock. Thousands of people were trapped before they even had time to escape. Their homes, streets, and even their last breaths were sealed under the burning sky. The eruption moved faster than anyone could run. Hot gas and rock rushed through the city at more than 100 miles per hour. The heat was so intense that it killed people instantly, leaving their bodies exactly as they fell. Mothers clutching children, workers shielding their faces, families holding each other. For centuries, Archaeologists have been trying to understand what lies beneath these victims, but it wasn't until now that archaeologists finally made the breakthrough. As archaeologists dug through the hardened ash, they found empty hollows shaped like human bodies. When they poured plaster into those spaces, the forms came back to life. Every detail was preserved, from folds in clothing to the fear frozen on their faces. For over 150 years, these plaster casts told the story of Pompeii, but no one could see what was hidden inside. Beneath the plaster were the real remains still locked away. But what information could archaeologists extract from those bones after 2,000 years? Everyone knows the story of the volcanic eruption, but what lay beneath those silent figures was still a mystery. The plaster preserved their final shapes, but it also sealed away their truths, hidden bones, untouched for centuries. For generations, no one could study them without damaging them. But then, a new kind of technology emerged, and when scientists began using it on the victims of Pompeii, everything changed. Seeing inside the victims. The breakthrough came when science finally looked inside the casts. For decades, researchers could only study the surface of these figures. They knew the shapes of the bodies, but not what was hidden within. Breaking them open would destroy priceless artifacts, so the secrets of Pompeii stayed locked away. That changed when scientists used medical technology to explore what human hands could not. CT scanners, the same machines used in hospitals, were aimed at the plaster casts. The goal was simple, to see the bones, teeth, and details trapped inside without causing damage. At first, the results were unclear. The density of plaster and bone was almost identical. The scans showed blurred outlines, confusing shadows, and overlapping textures. Things didn't seem to add up. A rib looked like a crack. A tooth could vanish into the plaster. Decades of scanning gave limited progress. Researchers could not tell where the body ended, and the mold began. Then came artificial intelligence. In 2023, a team of archaeologists, radiologists, and AI engineers decided to feed every CT scan ever taken of Pompeii's casts into advanced algorithms. Instead of relying on human interpretation, they trained machines to recognize what human eyes could not. The AI had been taught using thousands of modern medical scans. It learned the patterns of bone density, the shape of teeth, and the subtle traces of soft tissue that survive over time. When the same system was applied to the ancient casts, something extraordinary happened. The AI could separate plaster from bone with precise accuracy. It identified missing pieces and rebuilt them digitally. It filled gaps in skeletons, reconstructed joint structures, and even highlighted traces of cartilage still attached to bone. To improve clarity, scientists also injected harmless contrast dyes into small cracks in the plaster. When combined with AI, these dyes helped the system color code the 3D scans. For the first time, researchers saw full human skeletons inside the casts without touching them. They could zoom into skulls, examine teeth, and even detect microfractures invisible to the naked eye. The results shocked everyone. 
hidden inside these casts were not just bones, but stories about health, injury, and life in ancient Rome. And what AI found next would challenge everything archaeologists thought they knew. The hidden truth. When scientists looked inside the casts for the first time, what they found left them speechless. For the first time, the scans revealed that these victims were not fragile figures frozen by disaster. They were strong, complex, and far more advanced than anyone had imagined. The bones carried evidence of how they lived, worked, and even healed. AI detected signs of diseases and recovered injuries that told stories of survival. Some skeletons showed bone remodeling, proof that fractures had healed long before death. Others had dense muscle attachments, showing years of physical labor. A few even displayed early signs of surgical treatment, suggesting that Roman medical knowledge was far greater than historians once believed. The scans also revealed differences in lifestyle across the population. Some victims had healthy bone density and stable growth patterns, showing they were well-fed since childhood. Others showed stunted growth and stress lines, signs of malnutrition and physical hardship. It proved that Pompeii was a city of mixed lives, both privilege and struggle. AI gave scientists something human eyes could never capture. It rebuilt entire skeletons digitally, corrected missing pieces, and produced lifelike 3D models that could be examined without harm. For the first time, researchers could measure age, diet, and health with microscopic precision. The results changed everything. Pompeii was no longer just a tragedy. It was a living snapshot of Roman society, a place where strength, skill, and endurance were part of daily life. But just as scientists began to understand how these people lived, AI uncovered something far more surprising. It was a discovery no one expected, one that would shake archaeology itself. The perfect teeth. When scientists studied the teeth of victims of the eruption of Mount Vesuvius, they found something completely unexpected. AI scans revealed that these ancient people had almost perfect teeth, stronger and healthier than most people today. The enamel was thicker, the roots were denser, and there were almost no signs of infection or decay. Even those in their 40s and 50s had full, healthy sets of teeth. To archaeologists, this discovery made no sense. Ancient diets were supposed to ruin teeth. There were no toothbrushes, no toothpaste, and no dental care. Yet, the scans showed the opposite. These people had remarkable oral health. So what kept their teeth so strong? The answer lay in their environment and diet. Pompeii was built on volcanic soil filled with natural minerals like fluorine, calcium, and magnesium. Crops absorbed these minerals, strengthening teeth from within. The local water, filtered through volcanic rock, contained natural fluoride, long before anyone knew what fluoride was. Their food choices also protected them. They ate fresh vegetables, grains, fish, and olive oil. There was no refined sugar, only natural sweeteners like honey and fruit. This kept harmful bacteria from forming, preventing decay altogether. AI didn't just show perfect teeth. It also uncovered personal stories hidden inside them. Toothwear patterns differed from person to person. Some had flat edges, showing they used their teeth for daily tasks like weaving or cutting thread. Others had unique stains linked to diet or work, revealing small details about their lifestyle. Each mouth became a record of identity, a silent biography written in enamel. These people were not just victims of a disaster. They were healthy, active, and resilient individuals living full lives before the eruption. The discovery reshaped how scientists viewed Pompeii. It proved that even 2,000 years ago, people were thriving in ways modern society barely understands. But the AI's findings didn't stop there. It was about to challenge the stories historians had believed for over a century, rewriting the past. What if everything we thought we knew about Pompeii was wrong? When researchers looked deeper into the AI-enhanced scans, they realized something unexpected. The technology wasn't just showing bones and teeth. It was exposing human mistakes that had lasted for generations. For more than a century, Archaeologists had judged the victims by their appearance. A small frame meant a woman. A larger one meant a man. If a figure looked like it was holding its stomach, it was called a pregnant woman. Two people found embracing were labeled mother and daughter. But A, I doesn't assume. It measures. It analyzes. And what it found forced historians 
to rewrite everything. One of Pompeii's most famous casts, known as the Two Maidens, had drawn millions of visitors. They appeared to be two women locked in one final embrace, a tragic image of love and loss. But when AI studied their bones, the truth was different. The pelvic shapes, skulls, and limb structures were distinctly male. DNA results confirmed it. The two maidens were actually men. Whether they were relatives, friends, or lovers, no one can ever know. But their story, told for 150 years, was based entirely on assumption, not evidence. And they weren't the only ones misidentified. AI uncovered dozens of errors in long-accepted museum records. A so-called old woman turned out to be a teenage boy. A pregnant woman was actually a man lying face down. Some bodies believed to be servants showed signs of good nutrition and strong bone development, proof that they had grown up wealthy. Meanwhile, others found in rich villas showed the opposite, weak bones, malnutrition, and signs of hard labor. These details changed everything we thought we knew about Pompeii's social structure. The eruption hadn't chosen class or status. It had taken everyone, rich and poor, slave and master, together in the same instant. AI also redefined age. By studying microscopic bone patterns and joint wear, it was revealed that many victims labeled elderly were only around 40. The people of Pompeii were younger, stronger, and healthier than history had recorded. But the scans didn't just correct identities. They revealed the truth about what really happened in those last moments. AI detected fractures and crushed bones, showing that many didn't die peacefully. Some had broken hands from trying to protect their faces. Others had skull damage from falling debris or collapsing walls. Each image stripped away another false layer. The peaceful resting figures were not calm at all. They were fighting, desperate, and terrified. AI showed how easily history can be shaped by what we want to believe, not by what is real. So the question remains, if we were wrong about Pompeii for so long, what else could history still be hiding? The Final Moments For years, we were told the same story. The people of Pompeii died quickly, their bodies frozen in peaceful stillness as ash covered the city. But when AI examined their remains, that story fell apart. The scans uncovered something far more brutal. These people did not die quietly. Their bones told a story of fear, chaos, and violence. AI detected clear evidence of head injuries and crushed bones. Some victims had circular fractures in their skulls, signs they were struck by falling volcanic rocks. Others showed broken ribs and collapsed spines, proof that the pressure of the pyroclastic surge crushed them where they stood. The eruption did not just suffocate them, it destroyed them. And then came the most disturbing discovery. AI found evidence of what scientists call the pugilistic posture arms bent, fists clenched, and legs drawn up tightly. Earlier researchers believed this meant the victims had already died before the heat reached them. But AI proved otherwise. The bones showed microscopic fractures and chemical reactions that could only occur while blood was still flowing. These people were alive when the heat overtook them. Their muscles tightened as their hearts still beat. Inside the skulls, AI detected traces of brain tissue calcification, a process where extreme heat turned soft tissue into mineral deposits. This meant that the air around them reached more than 500 degrees Fahrenheit. In some cases, pressure built up so fast that skulls cracked from within. Even their final breaths left marks. The bones near the nose and throat showed damage from inhaling superheated gas and ash. They didn't simply suffocate. They burned from the inside as they tried to breathe. But what truly shocked scientists was evidence that some had survived the first wave. Certain skeletons showed partial healing in earlier injuries. That meant hours, maybe even days, passed before the second surge struck. Their wounds shifted sides, suggesting they crawled, moved, or tried to protect others. They had time to feel fear, to hope, and to fight for life. One skeleton told this story in heartbreaking detail. Both arms were fractured from defensive blows. A rib showed signs of healing from an older injury. But the final trauma came from behind, a crushed skull. The person was already hurt, raised their arms to shield themselves, and never saw the end coming. Each scan revealed scenes of unimaginable desperation. Some people died instantly. 
Others suffered longer, trapped in unbearable heat, trying to survive a force no one could escape. What we once thought were peaceful poses were not quiet at all. They were pain, frozen in time. The calm expressions we saw in the plaster were only masks, hiding moments of terror. And yet, through those same bones, AI uncovered something else. Resilience. Strength. The will to survive against impossible odds. It changed how archaeologists saw them, not as frozen victims, but as real people caught in one of history's most violent moments. But the work of AI didn't stop at revealing suffering. Its discoveries would transform how we study history itself. What we learned. So, what can a machine teach us about people who died 2,000 years ago? The AI scans of Pompeii didn't just uncover bones. They changed the way we study the past. For centuries, archaeology relied on the human eye. Researchers guessed, compared, and pieced together stories from fragments. But AI doesn't guess. It doesn't tell stories. It finds the truth buried in data. This new form of archaeology doesn't dig with shovels. It digs with precision. CT scans and machine learning are becoming tools of time travel, letting scientists see through stone, ash, and centuries of silence. The results were stunning. AI rebuilt lives that had been lost for nearly 2,000 years. It showed that Pompeii's people were stronger, healthier, and more complex than history ever gave them credit for. It proved that the social divide between rich and poor wasn't as simple as archaeologists once believed, and it exposed the horrifying truth that many of these people didn't die peacefully, but fought until the very last moment. But every discovery raised a question no one expected. If these casts hold real human remains, should they still be on display? For decades, millions have looked at their plaster faces in museums, taking photos without knowing who they really were. But now that we finally know their stories, is it still right to do the same? Some say the casts should be protected and laid to rest, treated like the remains of real people. Others argue they must stay visible, not as attractions, but as witnesses of what nature can do in an instant. Because behind every figure lies a heartbeat that once existed, someone who laughed, worked, and never imagined that day would be their last. And Pompeii isn't the end of this story. AI is now scanning Egyptian mummies, bog bodies, and Ice Age skeletons, uncovering diseases, diets, and even tattoos that no one has ever seen. Museums around the world are now making 3D digital models of their collections. This means a scientist in Italy and another in Japan can study the same artifact at the same time. Discoveries that once took years now happen in just days. AI has turned the silence of history into a living voice. It has been shown that the past isn't gone. It's waiting to be read, hidden inside every bone, every scar, every trace of life. But one haunting question remains. If machines can reveal every truth from the dead, how far should we go? Are we honoring their memory or disturbing their peace? AI didn't just expose the past. It exposed us, our hunger for knowledge, our need to understand, our refusal to let time keep its secrets. Pompeii's people are no longer silent. Through the eyes of AI, they've spoken again, not as victims, but as teachers of truth. Their story isn't just about death anymore. It's about what it means to be human, and how even in ashes, history can still find a heartbeat. For nearly 2,000 years, Pompeii's victims were silent, their stories buried beneath ash and time. But AI has changed that forever. What technology uncovered wasn't just bones or tragedy. It was truth. These scans showed how they lived, how they fought, and how they fell. History isn't frozen anymore. It's alive again, told through data and discovery. So, what do you think? Has AI finally given Pompeii's people their voices back? Or are we only beginning to understand them? Drop your thoughts in the comments below. If you liked this video, ensure you give it a thumbs up. Also, consider subscribing if you haven't already, because we will be uploading more crazy stories like this one in the coming weeks. Until then, see ya.